Eduardo Angel. And today we're celebrating the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you, and blessed will you be. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinner. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the... A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do from the heart, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance. Be slaves of the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God our salvation, 
who bears our burdens. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in the synagogue. They were astounded and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is he not, is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds among them because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned, today we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. The popes put this in because one reason would be to offset the commonest day of May 1st, which is dedicated to work. But their definition of work and workers is far different than the Christian one. They force people to work. They do not necessarily give them a decent wage. For some of them, no wages at all. But in the Christian view, work is a necessary thing, and we should get a decent wage. Whether it should be $15 or not, that makes a difference. But we should get a wage that's going to help us to live a decent life, support a family, pay most of our bills, and keep us in line with what work is all about. Work is meant to make us recognize the dignity of the worker, to work, give the worker an environment which makes him enjoy doing what he does, to give the worker what he needs to fulfill his work each day so that he does not have to pay out of his own pocket for things that are necessary for him to complete the work. St. Joseph the Worker. We don't know what Joseph built or didn't build, but we know that he's given to us as a model of one who worked. He supported his family the best he possibly could with the wages that he had at that time, and they were not very much. And whatever wages he made, there was a temple tax, there was the Roman tax, and some other taxes that drained Joseph of a good deal of his pay. We would hope that that would not happen in our society today. But not only here, but throughout the world, especially in communist countries and in China and other places where workers are like slaves, doing work that may be necessary, but not doing the work in such an environment and such a pay scale that would help them to lead a decent, wholesome life. So today, let us pray for workers. Let us pray that the work that is necessary accomplishes what the people want for the benefit of society at large, and also for the benefit of the worker and his or her family. For our leaders in the church, that they may manifest the wisdom of the Lord Jesus in their words and their deeds, we pray. That Christ's peace may reign in our hearts, in the hearts of all men and women, we pray. That our work may be modeled on the work of St. Joseph, done for the Lord alone, and in the name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, 
For all who need our prayers, that our faith may bring the power of miracles to alleviate every distress, we pray. For our beloved dead, that they may come into their promised inheritance as followers of Christ the Lord, we pray. For Mary Ellen Brigham, Will Broxterman, Connie Cortarba, Blanca Claudina Pasmino, Joe Winkler, Marie Mowens, Charlie Cremary, Ken Walker, Mickey Stafford, D. Heath Pitney, and those in our prayer list and book of intentions, we pray. For the cause of Jean-Claude Collin, founder of the Maris for Sainthood, we pray. For the repose of the soul of Sheila Harris, mother of Mary Sella, may her soul rest in peace, we pray. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become us spiritual children.
of those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. Let me ask you, what do chimneys cost? You know what a chimney is. What do they cost? Actually, there's no price. It's on the house. Have a good day. <laughs>